Welcome to my what I eat in a day. Welcome to breakfast. I'm hungry. As you saw this morning, I got up bright and early, went to boot camp. It was very humid because it downpoured a monsoon last night. So although it was cooler outside, it was humid. So I was very, very sweaty, but I had an amazing, amazing workout. I just finished my protein coffee that you also saw me make this morning. That's a great way for me to get in 30 grams of protein right out of the gate. I usually drink about a quarter of it, half of it before boot camp, and then I finish the rest up while I get ready for today. I'm actually wearing that dress that I shared in my Timu haul on Sunday. I did a final Timu haul for summer. I'll link it down below for you. I love this dress. It's so flattering. It's so comfortable. It's kind of a silky soft material. For breakfast, I'm having my meal prep. Again, if you miss meal prep on Monday, I'll link that for you. I'll link that video as well. But these are my sausage egg muffins that I made. They're really, really good. And they're 11 grams of protein a piece and only two points. And then I have 75 grams of blackberries, trying to get in some carbs, healthy carbs after my workout. So I'm going to eat my breakfast. I have a little bit of computer work to do, and then we're heading out. I have several errands to do today, three or four of them. So I'll explain all of that when we get in the car. Also, I have some new things to show you. I actually got a new computer. So I typically do all of my film, all of my editing, all of my computer work in general on my laptop. And I've always wanted just a bigger screen to edit on especially to just make sure everything's in focus and clear and to respond to emails doing macros so I bought an iMac computer so I'll show that to you Troy and I also finally got our custom metal screen door that we ordered about two and a half months ago it finally came and then really kind of the biggest news is Troy decided to trade in his car we did buy a Dodge Challenger about a year ago and it's just not as practical for him as we originally thought that it would be it's very low to the ground you have to be very mindful driving it he said people try to race them all the time it's just not I don't think what he expected it would be when we bought it so we did over the weekend decide to trade that in and we bought a Jeep Gladiator truck I think as homeowners having a truck is really really important and the Jeep Gladiator is just kind of a fun spin on a truck so I'll show that to you guys as well but let me go ahead and finish up my breakfast and then I need to get started on my water for the day and then we'll head on out to run those errands. So I just finished my breakfast and I think this morning I'm going to mix up some burn. When we go out to run our errands, I'm going to pick up a coffee. Since I'm in Tucson, I have to go to my favorite coffee place, which is Black Rock Coffee. So I don't want to have too much caffeine today since I am going to have a second coffee. So I'm actually going to mix up the no stim burn. This is in my Ami lemonade. This also comes in kiwi strawberry, which is so good as well. I actually love both of the flavors of the no stim burn. So again, I'm going to use the no stim. There is also the burn with caffeine and there are the burn capsules. So burn basically gives you extra fat burning, boosts metabolism, gives you energy and focus. That's what I want it for. Post-workout, post getting up at 4 a.m. to go to boot camp. I feel like I need that little bit of an energy 
boost without caffeine. And that's the great thing about the no stim is it's going to give you that same focus, energy, metabolism boost, fat loss boost as the stim burn without the caffeine. So I like to utilize the no stim on days that I have a second coffee and then on days that I don't, I use my burn with caffeine. That way I get in caffeine and I also get all of the amazing benefits of the burn. Really, truly been a game changer for me. It's a supplement I take every single day. I actually talked all about it in my supplements video. They do have the two flavors of the No Stim Burn, the Miami Lemonade and the Kiwi Strawberry. And then they have several flavors of the burn. This one is Cherry Lemonade. I really, really like this. And then lastly, of course, the capsules. Now these I utilize when I travel because I can't always take a tub of burn with me. And these are just a capsule that you swallow with water, gives you the same benefits as the powder. So this is definitely my go-to for travel. Or if you don't want to utilize the powder, the capsules are a great way to get all of the amazing burn benefits. I'm going to mix it in my Motivate temperature control tumbler. It does have the little mixing mechanism in the lid, which I really appreciate. I did fill it up with some water. Let me go ahead and add my Miami lemonade, no stim, some ice, and this will give me that focus that energy and that metabolism and fat burning boost. Miami Lemonade is so good. Very lemony, very lemonade summer vibes. I will link Motivate down below for you. With a 20% off discount, you can use it site-wide, but I can't recommend the burn, the no stim burn, and even the burn capsules enough. Like I said, I utilize them every single day and I've seen significant increases in all of the claims of focus, energy, fat burning, and metabolism boost. So here's my new computer. So I bought the iMac. I actually got this at Costco. It was a really, really, really good deal. It comes with the keypad, the mouse, and then the actual desktop computer is built into this huge screen. I absolutely love that. I don't know if you can see, but I did get the blue one, which I think is really pretty. Not that you can see a lot of the blue, but I'm so happy to have this. It has been a big game changer in editing, especially just everything is bigger and bolder on the screen. I just finished up a coaching call. I'm getting ready to head out the door to run all of our errands. Like I said, we are going to pick up a coffee. Chances are we'll probably even grab some lunch when we're out, but I am going to take a snack with me because I am getting a little bit hungry. And I recently picked up these bites from the brand for wellness. These are the superfood bites. I've been loving these. You can see the package is open. I've eaten quite a few of them. These are absolutely incredible. I'm going to be taking one of these with me. Not only are they nice, clean ingredients, really great option for a superfood snack. They're individually wrapped. These bites contain amazing, amazing ingredients and they satisfy hunger with healthy performance driven ingredients and really none of the bad stuff. You can dish all the unhealthy snacks for high quality whole foods. They contain powerful nootropics that produce a focused and calm effect. They help fight inflammation, which I really appreciate and supports brain and gut health. It really truly tastes like a moist chocolate brownie without the guilt. Each brownie is only 90 calories. They contain cacao, lion's mane mushroom, raw unfiltered honey, monk fruit, and yacon. There is no added sugar. The only sugar comes from the raw unfiltered honey and the monk fruit. They're dairy-free, gluten-free, non-GMO, and preservative free. They really truly taste too good to be good for you. They taste like a chewy, decadent, brownie. There is some caffeine, about 33 milligrams. A standard eight ounce cup of coffee has about 120 to 150 milligrams. So these are very, very minimal caffeine. So they're even great as an afternoon boost without disturbing your sleep. I love that there's freshly roasted almonds, raw cacao, unfiltered honey, and a hint of espresso. So I'm going to take one of my For Wellness Superfood Bites with me. I've been liking these as part of my mid morning snack. I do have a Vermont uncured pepperoni meat stick in my purse if I get hungry while we're out. I always am prepared. If the weather was a little cooler, I would actually store these in my purse as well because they're that amazing. They taste like a decadent brownie and I love the clean ingredients and that they do give you that nice bit of focus and energy. So I will link the four wellness superfood bites down below for you with the discount 
and let's head on out to do these errands. So here is the new custom screen door. It's so nice. It's actually a privacy screen. You can see that it has some holes in it for ventilation, which will be really nice in the cooler weather. And then it's just an extra security feature. I absolutely love it. The color of it actually matches, as you can see, the trim on our house. So we had to wait months for it, but it was definitely worth it. Here is Troy's new baby, his new truck. I actually really, really like it. Like I said, it's a Jeep Gladiator. It is kind of this matte gray color, which I actually really like. It is the Mojave, which is one of the higher end of the Jeep Gladiators. It has all of the really nice orange detailing. It's really spacious inside, which we appreciate. We ended up getting leather seats, easy to clean, especially if we take the dogs in the car. And then we have that truck bed as well, which we need especially owning a house. Whenever we need to purchase furniture or something, we always have to have everything delivered. So this way we'll be able to actually take it with us. So we're off to run all of our errands. I'll fill you guys in on everything we're doing. Our first stop is going to be the post office. I have a few bills to mail. And then when we bought my computer, we actually got Troy and I new phones. Our phones are about three years old and Troy's was starting to glitch, freeze up and stuff. So we decided to go ahead and get new phones. And my mom is on our phone plan. So I actually have to mail off her SIM card so that she has it when, our, when we actually transition over from Verizon to T-Mobile. We are moving over to T-Mobile. She'll be able to keep her same phone, same phone number. So I've got to get that mailed off to her. Our phones are on the way. They should be delivered either today or tomorrow. And then we'll go back into Costco and get those activated and ready to go. And we're actually able to keep our same phone and phone numbers as well. And then our next stop is actually going to be BMW. So I have to go to BMW of Tucson, take my car in because I have a warning that says that I need to change my brake pads and I don't need to change my brake pads. I actually just had my oil changed a few months ago. They said everything looked great on my car. So it's just a warning that comes up after a certain number of miles and the only way to reset it is to actually take it to the dealership so they said i could just bring my car in i don't have to make an appointment and they'll just turn off the brake pad warning because it wants to call bmw support for me so i'm gonna do that and on the way to bmw we're gonna go to black rock and get coffee i also need to go to i also need to go to ulta because i bought this foundation on ulta's website and it's dry it's completely dried up, it doesn't work. So I'm going to most likely get a refund on that foundation. We'll kind of see if there's anything else that sounds good while I'm there. And then I also need to make a stop at Target to get canned dog food. And actually Target and Ulta are right next to each other. So that makes it really easy. I can make a quick stop in to Target right after Ulta. And I think that's it. Bath and Body Works is also in that same complex. I may stop there too. I know right now they're running a $12.95 candle deal, but I just bought all those candles last week from TJ Maxx and Ross. So that's a maybe. We may be stopping at Bath and Body Works. Most likely we will end up grabbing some lunch as well because knowing BMW, I'm going to be there a while. They always say it's quick and simple and then you're there forever. So we're just going to have to see where the day takes us. But like I said, our first stop is the post office. I just left BMW and apparently they can't reset the sensor in my car because I guess with these cars it cuts the sensor if the brakes need replaced and apparently my brakes need replaced, my brake pads. We don't know if it's the front or the rear. She thinks it's probably the front because they were a little bit low when I had my oil changed in April. They want a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars to do front brake pads or a thousand dollars to do rear. Not all four her front, her rear. So Troy's going to make some calls today to see if he can find somewhere a little bit less expensive, just a regular place and somewhere closer to home because the dealership's pretty far from my house. There's only one in Tucson and it's pretty far from my house. So that's a good time. So that was basically a complete waste of driving there because they really couldn't do anything. But at least I guess now I know that I need brake pads. So now I'm heading to the little shopping plaza that has Ulta in Target. Someone who can, 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 can really 
Target. They have some really good deals going on right now. They actually had $15 off if you spend 80 or more, which is a great deal. And then a lot of their hair care was buy three, get a $5 gift card. And their laundry was buy two, get a $5 gift card. So I spent the $80, got $10 worth of gift cards and got $15 off. I basically bought some Gatorade, as you saw, some no sugar Gatorade. I bought hairspray for Troy, uh, wax strips for myself, canned dog food for the dogs. I got a couple of laundry set boosters and then the little stick on gel toilet bowl cleaner thing. So my total was $85 after the discounts and then I have $10 worth of gift cards. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I'm gonna head on over to Ulta. I think I'm just simply going to do the return. I just finished my Ulta return and Bath and Body Works no longer has their candles on sale. They have some clearance candles on the website, but I don't know that they'll have any in store from their semi-annual sale. So there's really no reason for me to go to Bath and Body Works if the candles are on sale because I don't need anything else. There is a Marshalls. There is a Marshalls. And I was thinking that I might stop in there. You know what? No, I don't need anything. I bought all those candles last week. I'm gonna go get some lunch. So let me call Troy, figure out what he wants for lunch. We'll grab some lunch and I'll be able to eat my lunch on the way home. I'm pretty hungry actually, it's almost noon. Can I get a um, double double burger with the grilled onions? Okay. And then I'll do a regular cheeseburger with grilled onions. So I'm in and out if you didn't notice when I ordered the double double with grilled onions. So Troy wants a burger. He doesn't love the fries at in and out Isn't that weird? Cause I feel like in and out has really good fries. He doesn't really like them. I don't really need any fries. I ordered a cheeseburger for myself. I will take off most likely the top or bottom bun. I usually remove half of the bun and just eat the other half of the bun and the meat. That's plenty for me. I have a really good protein shake recipe, kind of a new one uh, from Clean Simple Eats that I'm gonna have as an afternoon snack. So I don't wanna have too much for lunch because that's also pretty filling. So in and out for lunch. Here's my burger, it looks absolutely amazing. All the good stuff is on the top bun, all the cheese. So I'm actually going to remove the bottom bun. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for lunch. So for an afternoon snack, I'm making that protein shake I talked to you guys about. This is a new exciting protein shake option from Clean Simple Eats. It's called the POJ or the Protein Orange Julius. Who remembers Orange Julius? I remember in high school going to the mall, getting an Orange Julius. It was one of my favorite things. And Clean Simple Eats has not one, but two, but three different recipes for protein Orange Julius. So first you can use the Simply Vanilla Protein Powder and Orange Juice. That is going to be the OG Orange Julius. And then the Tropical Twist is using the Coconut Cream Protein Powder in eight ounces of OJ. And then the Fruity Fave, and this one's really good, I had this yesterday, is the Peaches and Cream Protein with eight ounces of OJ. So there's this cute little card here that shows you just different ways to make Protein Orange Julius. I feel like today we need to do the OG, the OG Orange Julius. So I'm going to use the Clean Simple Eats Simply Vanilla Protein. Let me show you what orange juice I'm. So I actually grabbed the Kroger Light Orange Juice. You can have eight ounces for 60 calories, which is way less than other OJs. It has less carbohydrates in it. And that's it, literally it's orange juice and the Clean Simple Eats Protein Powder with a little bit of ice, blend it up and you have an orange Julius. So let me show you how to make it. The peaches and cream one, was a 10 out of 10. Tomorrow, I'm absolutely having the tropical vibe, but today we're doing the OG. I will link Clean Simple Eats down below for you with a discount. You already know it's my all-time favorite protein powder, hands down. I've been on my spaceship down in stars since 94. Waiting for someone to come and knock on my door. Looking for someone who Alrighty, total orange Julius protein shake. 
By the way, this is incredible. I can't tell the difference between this and Orange Julius, and this is going to have over 20 grams of protein. So I was going to make burgers for dinner, but we had burgers for lunch today. So instead I'm going to do some just bare chicken strips in my air fryer, and we're gonna make those smashed potatoes I talked about in my grocery haul. I found what's to be the best recipe. It had five stars, thousands of reviews. So I'll show you what's in that recipe, and then we're going to have it with some corn. So for the smashed potatoes, you're going to need lots and lots of potatoes, salt and pepper, light butter, fresh parsley or dried parsley, and some oil. So I have a big pot of salted water at a boil. I'm going to add in some potatoes. I wanna do different sizes, more medium, small, medium type of potatoes. And we're going to let them boil until they're completely softened. It'll probably take 20 to 25 minutes. So I went ahead and drained my boiled potatoes in a colander. We're going to allow them to sit and essentially dry for about five minutes. So once your potatoes are dried, we're going to place them on a baking sheet. I went ahead and sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray. And then with the back of a fork, you're just going to smash them. The thicker they are, the fluffier the smashed potato will be. The thinner you smash them, the crispier it will be. So I'm kind of going somewhere in the middle. I want them to be kind of crispy, so I'm going to smash them a little bit flatter. Once you smash all the potatoes, allow them just to sit on the tray for about another five minutes. That helps them become more crispy. Then we have two tablespoons of light butter melted. We're just going to drizzle that on top of the potatoes. And then we have one tablespoon of olive oil. We're going to drizzle that on top as well. Season with salt and pepper. And then we're tossing these into our 390 degree oven for about 48 to 45 minutes or until they're nice and crispy. I just pulled out my crispy potatoes. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of parsley on top. I have my chicken in the air fryer, corn in the microwave. Let me go ahead and plate up dinner and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is my dinner. So I have some of these smashed potatoes, about a third of a cup of corn. This is the Southwest sauce that I made in my meal prep. I'm going to dip my Just Bare chicken strips in that. That is one serving of Just Bare chicken. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, and macros here on the screen for you. So it's the end of the night. I'm about to go take this makeup off, take off this jewelry, put on some pajamas. I have a Match Me Abroad to watch that I recorded. Let me know down below if you watch Match Me Abroad. It's actually really, really good. So for dessert tonight, I'm keeping it simple. I'm going to have a mini kind bar. I actually really like these. It satisfies the whole sweetie, salt, sweet, sweetie, sweet, salty vibe. And then I love the Soli gummies. You guys, these are so good and the ingredients are perfection. This is the mango and orange. So I'm going to do these for dessert tonight. So honestly, a pretty healthy dessert. Get those jammies on and watch Match Me Abroad. joining me for another What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all of the good food that I ate, that amazing, amazing dinner recipe. It will be on my website, which I will link at the top of the description box. I will also link Motivate with that 20% discount, the Superfood Bites, everything I shared with you today will be down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my other favorite things. And of course, come on over, join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, and we would love to have you. Happy Wednesday, friends. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.